Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to talk about some little bit of news and stuff like that. Something I haven't covered in a while. I have not done a video in this kind of style in a very very long time. Hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay as well. It is a nuke with the sniper I did release a couple of days ago. If you missed that gameplay so make sure you do watch this gameplay as well. It's a pretty pretty sick gameplay to be fair. But I want to talk about you know Call of Duty being the best game again. In terms of you know if you remember back in the day Modern Warfare 2 all the way up until probably I would say uh, probably the release of Fortnite, I would say, possibly, or maybe Advanced Warfare, when the jetpacks came out. Call of Duty was the most played game every single year. Everybody played it. You know, other people played other games alongside, like around FIFA and things like that. But you know, the main game, the main focus, you know, people were playing Call of Duty. And we've not seen a huge fan base like that since Modern Warfare. And at the start of this year, Modern Warfare for me was a very controversial game. I didn't really like it. Uh, if I'm being perfectly honest, it wasn't what I was used to, I guess. from Obviously, I still play Call of Duty all the way through, you know, the bad times. Uh, where not many people were playing. Uh, and obviously, I feel like the name Modern Warfare bring a lot of old players back to the series. And what I want to touch on today in today's video is probably the main reason people have been playing this game as much as it should be, and you know, enjoyed as much as it should be, and just you know, just people playing this. You know, this game right now, believe it or not, has over a hundred million monthly active users. So these aren't people who just have the game. These people are playing the game every single, you know, month. 100 million people. And that is an insane number to me. When I saw that uh, tweeted out last night, I was like, wow, that is incredible. And there's one thing, you know, to thank for this, and that is Warzone. On this channel, you know, Warzone, uh, we haven't really touched much on Warzone at all. Uh, it wasn't... I do enjoy Warzone, but in terms of, you know, regular multiplayer, I'm kind of an old school Call of Duty player. You know, I've played for years, and multiplayer was just my thing. Uh, and it still is my thing over Warzone especially, but I do enjoy Warzone, and maybe, you know, we can see some more Warzone content being put up on the channel, especially in the next coming year, which is what I want to talk about. It would not make sense for Call of Duty Cold War to just abandon Warzone. You know, the main hundred, you know, the hundred million active users on this game, the main player base from that, I would imagine, it's not being confirmed, but what I would imagine is coming from Warzone. Everybody played Warzone. Everybody I've met over the past year, uh, everybody, you know, my old friends who didn't used to play COD, uh, or stopped playing COD, should I say, or came back to it, they're playing Warzone. Everybody loves Warzone. So in Cold War, we're going to be having Warzone integrated in. It's going to be very interesting how they're going to be doing this. But don't be disheartened because when Cold War does release on the day, I think it's November 19th, I could be wrong, you know, you take that over a pinch of salt, I know it's around that time frame, I know November 19th is the PS5 release, it could be a couple of days after I would imagine, uh, possibly, but anyway, there will not be Warzone in Cold War, you know, from the very start. But if you played the beta, we'll know we had the Warzone, you know, option. You could click to play Warzone, which would take you back to Modern Warfare. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case in Cold War. So this does actually come out in December for Cold War. So a month after the release, not even a month, should I say. It's the 1st of December, so literally a couple of weeks. So don't worry. If you do pick up the game and you don't have Warzone straight away in there, don't worry. You know, don't just get rid of the game. It's coming on the first season from uh, Cold War on the 1st of December. Uh, and there's going to be Warzone integrated in. Basically, what this means is we're going to have the... I don't know how what the changes are going to be made to the Warzone map. There's got, definitely going to be some changes. But I know you can use both Warzone weapons, you know, Modern Warfare weapons, and Cold War weapons. So it's going to be a very, very diverse, uh, you know, weapon setup. And the player base is only going to get bigger. They're going to get the people staying from Modern Warfare who just want to play Warzone. And you're also going to get the player from Cold War, probably new players who might come to the series during Cold War, are also going to be picking up Warzone if they haven't already, which is going to be insane. You know, the opportunities for class ups and, you know, map design will be literally endless. We'll have two Call of Duty's worth of weapons into one game, essentially, which is literally going to be saying it's going to be over 100 plus weapons you can use and experiment with. Uh, the map design's going to be, you know, li unlimited possibilities how they could change the map. They're going to be Cold War integrated things and Warzone, Modern Warfare, like modern time things integrated. Like, it's going to be so insane. And, you know, if we have over 100 million active users right now, monthly, imagine what this player base is going to be like uh, when, you know, this, this, this happens. It's going to be insane. And I think personally, looking at the channel right now and the way we've had this year, we've had a really good year. In Modern Warfare, just smashing pubs, you know, insane gameplays, you know, this is a nuke gameplay you're watching right now, this is actually a nuke with uh, the really slow sniper setup on the snipers only mode. Um, 
I think Warzone is definitely going to be the way to go for the channel pushing forward. You know, the player base is just too big. The fan base is just too big for Warzone right now to not capitalise on this opportunity. I really, really wish I'd capitalised a little bit earlier and got a little bit better at Warzone. But it is what it is. This next year, it's probably going to be a Warzone primarily, you know, focused channel. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you're into Warzone. Uh, and obviously for pubs as well. I know a lot of my fans are pub players and they want to see pub gameplays. I've done a couple of polls on this, but don't worry about that. Pubs will still be one of the things. But anyway... There was an official statement released by the Activision president, Rob Kostich, on Black Ops Cold War, Warzone and Modern Warfare, which basically states, So the player community should expect to see Warzone evolve and innovate in a lot of fun ways and alongside our premium games, importantly. Now let me clarify a bit on the question how Cold War and Warzone are going to work together, and I'll do this in a high level. And please also note that we're going to be sharing a lot of details of the community coming up nearly soon. But first, Core Black Ops Cold War progression will build upon the success and work similarly to how it did in Modern Warfare. Now let me touch on this, I'm a little bit disappointed with this, I want prestiging back in the game. There could still possibly be prestiging, but we'll see. So for example, all the new Black Ops weapons and operators you unlock in your level 1 to 55 progression, so... Possibly could go higher than 55, I'm not 100% sure. So, operators you unlock in level 1 to 5, 55 progression will be usable in Black Ops and in Warzone, just like how it works in Modern Warfare. Black Ops Battle Pass content and store content will also work across Black Ops and Warzone. So, the, the Battle Pass is going to be like, you know, like in Modern Warfare. So, you can either level up your Battle Pass in Cold War multiplayer or Warzone. Now players can of course continue to use their Modern Warfare content in Warzone once Black Ops launches and as a result one cool feature players will see is that they'll be able to choose either their Black Ops loadout or their Modern Warfare loadout in the war in Warzone for their gameplay which is insane. And this is just one example of how Warzone is going to expand and evolve over time. Now players can also expect to see ton of free post launch content for the Black Ops Cold War premium experience across multiplayer and zombies. I think we did a great job on this for the community for everyone with Modern Warfare and we'll do the same with Black Ops. So November 13th really is just the beginning of the, to this game and I think it's a great game and just like Modern Warfare this game is going to be bigger and better and more fun as the year goes on. So in terms of overall progression, unlocks and content we've really built upon what has really worked well for the community of Modern Warfare and we think people and players will be really excited to check out everything Black Ops Cold War has to offer as well. Now in terms of timing of the next season Daniel which is an Activision Blizzard Chief Operator Officer which is a mouthful, wow, mentioned this. We expect Season 1 for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone to launch this December, and that's when you're going to be able to start to see the impact of Black Ops and Warzone really starting to work together in a cool and fun ways. Again, a lot more details here, which are going to be revealing in the next week or two. So, that was pretty insane. It was a lot to take in really quickly there, to be honest. Um, but the fact, you know, obviously Warzone is owned by Infinity Ward. It's an Infinity Ward game feature the fact that this has come across they're allowing black ops to use it you know Treyarch games to use this as well just really does show how big call of duty is and how big the warzone community is as well and how they really want to push this for call of duty to be number one again and in all fairness right now this present moment in time i think call of duty is on the top again right now it's the most watched game it's the most played game in my opinion i think it's blew fortnite out of the water this year uh fortnite has seen a massive decline in my opinion but i'm not too caught up on the fortnite community so i could be wrong on this but I'm pretty sure that's the case. It seriously is insane to think that this is happening right now. And literally next year, it's going to be a huge, huge year. I'd love to know what you guys think of the integration with Black Ops and Warzone. Is it going to be work as... But what I'm concerned about is the most is the time to kill, right? So it's a slower time to kill in Cold War than it is in Modern Warfare. So would we be able to cross-play? Like, would Warzone players who are playing on Modern Warfare uh, play with people who are playing on Cold War? Is it going to be the same time to kill as it is in Modern Warfare, or is it all going to change as a whole? It's going to be super, super weird, you know? Super interesting to see how that will actually work. Uh, I think, personally, they'll keep the same time to kill as Modern Warfare and just put that into the Cold War Warzone, and I think it'll just be a massive, one massive cross-play. But that, does that mean I could be in a gunfight with someone with my Cold War MX4 and someone shooting back at me with a Modern Warfare M4A1? Literally, it sounds so crazy. I've never seen anything like this. It's literally nuts. Uh, but I would love to know what you guys think of this down in the comments below. Are you excited for Cold War? Are you excited to see how the Warzone map's going to evolve and change and, you know, how it's going to work? Because I really am, you know, it's going to be insane. I think it's going to be a huge opportunity for Call of Duty. And re they really, really are pushing this to be number one again. And they are, are they going to succeed? You know, they're already succeeding. You know, huge. It's just a huge success, Warzone. It really has changed the whole dynamics of Call of Duty as a whole. But anyway, 
This is unfortunately going to be the end of the video. Like I said, let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. Make sure you are smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any Call of Duty Cold War news, Warzone news, anything to do with Call of Duty. It's going to be covered on this channel, so make sure you are smashing that subscribe button. But apart from that, guys, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them are in the description below. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.